It is 11 p.m. and we are having pulpo. And this is an amazing salad with goat cheese and beautiful wine. And here we are. And we're not alone. Everybody's eating. Probably until 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> So, I am so sorry here if I have been muted. I am not sure that I've been muted this whole time. Um, but I wanted to share with you this inspiration of Spain. So, I hope that I just realized now that I might have been muted. So, please forgive me if I have been. And I will be sharing that little video of Spain if you missed, um, if, if you couldn't hear me chatting in there, uh, but we are, um, so it, it's just a beautiful place. So I really would highly recommend anybody that's thinking about going to Europe to go to Spain, because if you like food, if you like wine, if you, if you, like, um, mm -hmm. if you like mountain, yeah, you know, everything. it does, it does. It's really surprising how you have the beach, because of course, here in Florida, like everything's so flat, right? So, that. so you have the and then you have the beautiful sea, and you cool people, and it's just a, it's a fabulous place. So we're gonna get started with our lady here. Yay! I know some of you have purchased your palettes, and um, we are going to get started. So here is our fabulous new collection and I'm in love with it. I am having a lot, a lot of fun. I know you have it there. Please, um, if you can, you can go on the chat if you'd like and um, ask any questions as well. I know we have some people here live too, so feel free. This, I have to say, is the first, well, it's the first time I'm doing kind of like this type of class with this software. So if there's anything that you need, please just like chat away or you can always call us too. We've got people on the phone if there's anything that you need. But let's go ahead and start. So I'm going to share with you what I did on Rachel just to kind of prep her face. And we started. So Rachel is an N2. She is quite fair. She has a combination of a little bit of yellow and pinkiness to her skin and she has really pretty skin. So with this uh, tutorial, I actually used the Hydrolux. Now, what I did to start with is I started with doing a little bit of toner just to, I use the Revive a lot. I love that. And it's, it's kind of works for everyone and it just refreshes the face. It's also really nice too, um, with our larger size, we have a little spritz. So with this heat, you can just kind of spritz it as well and just stay refreshed. The next thing is I used our Magi C Serum. And for Rachel, um, you know, she's she has younger skin. This is great, actually, for any skin type, except for I would say maybe an acneic skin type. You know, that probably not so good. But it's a wonderful primer it's also if if you could smell it it is so you, nice yeah and you just hold it for a couple of seconds you just hold it over and you just breathe in inhale the it has vitamin e vitamin c and vitamin a and it also has some essential oils in it so what it does is it, it you're actually using that aromatherapy to just elevate your mood and then you just kind of release. So I'm not going to ask you what you're releasing unless you want to share. But. <laughs> <laughs> so I love like inhale, just some gratitude, mm -hmm. exhale. Whoever's annoying you, just like let them go, right? Women <laughs> can use this. So there we go. I'm going to put it, since I already did foundation on her, I'm just going to put a little bit, but it's great because vitamin C is a wonderful ingredient 
to help build your collagen. Um, also, our Magic C has a little bit of silicone in it, so it acts as a primer, and it really kind of minimizes the pores as well. So you're kind of getting two in one. You don't have to use a makeup primer and a serum because it's all in one for you. Um, I love products that are multi-purpose anyways. I don't like putting stuff on just because just because. Yeah, they you know? have like eight layers of yes. things and what's really happening at yeah. that point. And, and, and it's so. so hot, I think everywhere in the world this year, that the less you can have on your face, I feel the better off you are. You yeah. know, obviously a sunscreen. And then I used Glow Savior. So Glow Savior has a little bit of shimmer and an SPF 30. So again, it's kind of like that multi-purpose. Um, Rachel loves to wear this on its own, just as her foundation. And I'm sick. So, yes. <laughs> so it's great. So if you have nice skin and you just kind of want to do this and do a little bit of blush, you can see like it just kind of gives that little bit of pretty shimmer. Um, my so esthetician told me that my skin had never looked better. And I think that's because I had switched from like wearing a concealer or a foundation every day mm -hmm. to just like glow savior. So I, yay! I mean, I'm pretty, I'm pretty that's, obsessed with it. Ever since. So like, okay. This is new news to me too. So here we have it. Right. Um, and then I did a little bit. So what I did is I mixed on her, a little bit of our Electra Shimmer, which is our gold one. And I'll show you that just because I wanted to kind of tie it in a little bit with, you know, the warmth of the palette as well. So this is the, the goldy goldy there. And um, you can, so let's say we want to, I just wanted to do something kind of fresh and it's light. Um, so I did a little bit of the Hydrolux foundation, which is very light and used the Kabuki brush. And then I just did a little bit of the pressed HD powder. So because if not, this makeup's going to slide right off your face mm -hmm. as soon as you walk out that door. We have like 400% humidity here in Florida. I think, you know, one of my clients told me, she goes, Florida has the weather you can wear. And that is so true. So if you want, like, we're going to give her a little bit more glow. You can actually just kind of pat that on. And let's take her, let's take her up a notch and make that glowy, glowy, right? So just prepping it that way. Um, so if you want to kind of go along with me and, or if you have your foundation on already, then this is fun. And again, it's Electra Skin Shimmer. And it comes in like this. You're going to use a tiny bit. You can also, oh, here, I'll show you a little trick, right? So just use a little bit of this. Okay, she's going to go on a sexy date. Just take that right onto the collarbone. And that is so pretty. And right here, too. So can you see that little pop right there? Just kind of gives like that really nice. So it looks, it almost looks like she's been in Spain, you know, mm. getting a little, little sun kissed right there. Uh, so there you have it. And then um, I also love concealer. So, but I'm going to kind of clean up the concealer uh, after we finish doing the eyes. So here we go. Let's go ahead and start. Please feel free to... Um, Again, we'll keep our little chat open there. So if you've got any questions, we'd love to, we'll love to help you. Okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about eye shapes because I feel like a lot of people don't understand their eye shape. And I had um, actually one of our clients came in that she came into Studio Cara for a makeup lesson. And that's something that we do here a lot. And I feel that a lot of people that are watching, you know, YouTube and Instagram and all that, uh, a lot of times they're, they're watching that person that has a particular face shape and eye shape, and they don't necessarily know the difference between their eye shape and um, their own eye shape and their, and that person's eye shape. So that's going to be really important on how to apply your makeup. 
And so I had this gorgeous girl that came in and she thought her eyes were hooded. So a hooded eye is when you live in the hood and you can't get out. Just kidding. So that's me. I have a very hooded eye. I've always had a hooded eye. And the older you get, the more in the hood you go. <laughs> and so the hooded eye is something that what happens is, let's see, I'm going to have you open your eye, is when basically this, you can only see like this top portion of your eye. you get older, it tends to sag and that's heavier and so there are techniques to get you out of the hood if you want to have more of a crease more of an open eye so i'm going to share a little bit of technique today and um and so that way because i think a lot of people might have a challenge with it and something that can just kind of open your eyes up so um uh, understanding like the rule of thumb let's say is that you want to be able to see this is going to be about one third and then from your crease here it's going to be two thirds so open your eye for me that's kind of what constitutes like an like an average eye now rachel has a nice big eye as well and it's bright too um, but depending on how we would make her eye makeup, it could make her lower lid look either a lot smaller or it can make it a lot bigger. So I want you to just think of any time you place something dark, it's like if you paint a room dark, then you're going to, you're going to make it smaller, but you're also going to give it more depth, right? you kind of paint one hooded eye, you're not, you're not going to want to make this whole area light because what it's going to do is it's going to push it forward and it's going to make it appear bigger. So we want to kind of create a face type of thing. And so that's what we're going to do today. I'll show you a little bit of that technique, but kind of in a soft way. And um, so here we go. So I'm going to share with you the technique that I'm going to use on her, I'm going to start with number 15 brush. This is our crease blender. This is a great brush. I'm going to start with Madrid. Madrid is this warm color right here. And I'm going to take this color throughout the crease. And just give her a little bit of depth in there, right? Now, one thing I did not do, which I should have done probably, is used an eye primer uh, with our eye primer. But actually, this is going to kind of give you like a bit of a softer look. So let's go for it. Um, you know, there's no mistakes. You can... <laughs> So the Madrid is nice because it doesn't have a lot of shimmer. And as you can see right here, it's just going to give her that mid-tone depth. And I'm going to take this also here. And I'm going to bring it out to about the end of her brow as well. Right there. So open your eye for me, Rachel. So see the difference there, how we're really kind of creating a little bit more depth versus this one is looking a bit flatter. Okay. So, so now if we want to get into a little bit of a deeper, um, a little bit of a deeper crease, we can take this brush as well. I'm going to dip it into Lugo that darker shade. And Lugo has a lot of pigment to it. 
So I'm going to take Lugo, but I'm going to dip it into Madrid because I don't want it to be black, black, right? I'm going to have you keep your eye open. There we go. And I'm going to go in real soft here. And what I do also is I just put the product on the point. I don't put the product all over the brush because what happens is when you grab a lot of product all over the brush, now you've got a lot more product. So it's going to go in a much bigger surface here. What I'm doing is I'm just using the shape and that's why it's so important to have the right tools is um, this brush here. You can see it kind of compared to her eye. Sometimes um, there's a lot of brushes out there that are crease brushes, but they're bigger and they're fluffier. So anytime you have a brush that is going to, that is bigger, if your eyes are small, it's going to put a lot of product around. So that's one thing that I do like to, you know, I like to share um, is just understanding your facial features and what brushes you need. So I'm showing you here how to really enhance softly that crease, right? And so now I'm just taking it right into the, into that um, area, the, the socket and bringing that in through here. I'm going to have you look up to camera again and see how much deeper her eyes are starting to look now. It's so fun. I love makeup. So, yes. So it's all smoke and mirrors, girls. You know, we can do a <laughs> lot of stuff. Um, I'm going to say so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with this little guy. This is the number 22. Much smaller than, let's say, the number four. Five. I just kind of want to share with you the difference here. Okay. So five. Five is more of a flat, that gold color. And I want to take Barcelona and I want to pack that cup onto that lower lid. And this look is just fun because it, it layers colors. And there's no right or wrong. If you want to so see there, there we go. See that gold, how that's just kind of shifting through. And if you have blue eyes, it is amazing to, um, because in the color wheel, you know, blue and yellow are, are complementary colors. So having that gold, I love to do cools and warms together. Um, the next one I'm going to do, again, I'm going to take my little 15 brush. And this one is Bilbao. Bilbao is, I'm going to take it just with the little point again. And I'm going to take it here just on that outer edge and give her a little smokiness. I like that. I just like the softness there. I'm gonna take a little bit more. So again, just giving her a little sultry. Open your eye for me. There we go. And I'm just gonna take little softness underneath there. So there's hardly any product at the bottom, right? But let's see, look there. So you're just kind of giving like just that pretty little bit of softness. And I'm going to move. This right here. There we go. Okay. Cool. Good. All right. And okay. So the next step. Are you guys following me? Are we good? Yes. Okay. And then the next step that I'm gonna do 
is I'm going to take this one is Valencia. I got inspired with all those. Of course, that silver with those white buildings and that kind of modern fabulousness that they had, that space age kind of architecture. This is it. it kind of gives a little. It's like, bam. Now, don't be afraid. See? It's so fun. I love it. Okay. It's <laughs> probably my favorite. Thing. Yes. Number 22 is this brush here that we're using. I know. It's just so, I love this color. And if you really want to get a little disco, you can wet your brush a tiny bit and give it a bam, 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 pop right there. <laughs> hey, the fun thing about makeup is that it washes off. So if it's a little too crazy, then you just take some off. I'm going to put actually open your eyes for me. I'm taking this brush 24. Okay. Just because, you know, Rachel might have a date night tonight. So I'm going to get it. I'm going to get her ready. So I'm just taking a little bit of that silver right in here. I think a fun date night's in order, you know? And uh, glammed up her eye a little, I mean, her hair a little bit. Oh, and yeah. Look at these. Yes, I know. The beautiful curls. <laughs> and, uh, and now we've got. So you can see it's just kind of adding like some some little bit of sparkliness to the eye if you want to do that. Um, and then again, I love this little brush, the 24, is a great little liner brush. But I don't want to leave out the Baroque pencil. So the Baroque pencil is, it is this beautiful tacky, um, shimmery green. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to actually take this onto the top lid, blend it. And if you would like, you can also take the pencil and add a little bit of depth, just like taking it up like that and going in with the same brush and just smoking it out. So again, what you want to do, you know, this is a look where you want to have some you want to have a little bit of time. Um, you don't have to do all of these layers. Of course, she's looking like, you know, very, uh, she's definitely getting very smoky, but a very soft kind of smoky as well. And of course, the, you know, the silver, if you want to tone that down, you can just, just continue to blend. You can always blend and use these colors um, you know, to your liking, um, however you find yourself, you know, whatever your comfort zone is. So that's why I look straight up for me. There we go into the camera. Um, so we kind of have, you can see here where there's a lot more curvature to the eye. This eye here is looking, you don't see quite as much drama to it. So uh, again, I feel like just having that softness underneath the eye with, again, that 24 brush, you can use any of the colors. If you want to use Madrid, let's say you don't want as much sparkle. Look up for me. You can, it's, it's always so pretty to just kind of create a little bit of curvature to the eye. I like that. And it, it just gives a little bit of softness there. Um, and then let's put some mascara on her. 
how are you guys doing? You following? Is it looking good? Send us a picture of your eyes. Okay, the volume mascara is amazing. You want to, and again, I'm going to need, do you have a little uh, wand over there? So this has a little curved, um, it has a little curved wand already. And I've got here, um, we're going to actually, uh, you can always do a little bit of lash thickener. Now she has a little bit of uh, mascara on already. Thank you. She has a little bit of mascara already. I'm going to kind of curve this a little bit and just freshen up her mascara. But the volume, so what I recommend is taking it really close to the base of the lashes. really close and then just work it up i like the little wiggle the wiggle the little wiggle technique yes because <laughs> it gets right in there mm -hmm. and i really love the and then the mascara is too you do have to work it a little bit because it is a volume. So it's going to be a little bit more. It's going to have a little bit more, I would say, thickness. And so if you tend to clump a little bit, just use the, this is our 21 little angle brush with the spoolie. And also, you know, fan out your lashes too. That's a nice little technique to do. I'm just going to clean up a little bit here. Just got a little bit of a... But I like the pencil. Again, this is kind of a, a softer look with the pencil um, versus, versus having a dark look up for me. And so it's a really pretty daytime all day. And you can tone it down on the shimmer if you don't want as much shimmer, or you can amp it up, whatever your mood is. And also what I did is I, I used the, let's see here. Whoops. I used our cream blushers and I used, this one is Marae and I use, Mar I love Marae. This one looks so pretty on her. And this is, uh, I use this a little bit more for her contour right in here. And it's a great cream. So you can use this on the eyes. You can use it on the cheeks. And then I also used a little bit. This one is called Elise. And it's, you can, so you can see the difference between the two, you know, the two colors there. This one gave her a little bit of peachiness. And again, with the creams, I just, I like to use them with the brush and I kind of pat them. That's what I like to do, you know, just so it kind of has this really just pretty fresh kind of look like that. And then we're going to do our lip trio that we have, the little lip sets and I think um, we have a little video of that too. that we did and I am going to grab it. Let's see. I'm gonna clean right here a little bit. Got a little crazy with the Valencia. <laughs> a little sparkle sparkle there. Okay, good. Can we clean that up? Oh, I forgot to let's do um concealer. And where did my concealer? Oh, here it is. Okay. Concealer. I love concealer. And again, a little bit less is more with concealer. You don't have to put on a lot of concealer. It comes in a pot like this, which I love. 
and I'm going to use, I mean, honestly, that's way too much. Use a brush, okay? Use a brush, even if you have, especially those, those concealers that you find that have like the big doe foot on them and you put it on and it's like, it just smears. It's like a bagel with cream cheese or something. It's out of control. So you end up with a lot of product on your face. It tends to settle in the lines. Um, it's just way too much. You know, you, all we're doing with concealer is just brightening up the eye area. And this one is C2. Again, I am taking that right into this area where I want to bring some light. And then I'm just going to take my finger and just kind of blend that, blend that in right there. Let's see. I think we've got some, I think we've got some questions. Let me see here. So see that how it's just very light and let's see here. Okay. Good, good. Okay, cool. Awesome. Um, to just feather it out. I think it's like such a pro tip to do the concealer after you've done the eyeshadow, because I think especially if you're working with some darker colors and you have that fallout, mm -hmm. you know, like we always have that like little dust that gets on our cheeks and stuff like that. Yeah. It's such a, and it's such a time saver and it looks so much cleaner, I think in the end. To yes. Go in. And I, you taught me that. So yeah. I, I love that trick. Yeah. Because that way you can do your eyes, especially, you know, anytime you're going to have some shimmer and sparkle, you're going to get, you totally, you know, <laughs> you're going to get some little mess kind mm -hmm. of falling down. Mm -hmm. You grab a tiny bit of wink wash with eye makeup remover and a Q-tip, that is like my go-to. Clean that up underneath. And then, and if you're somebody that like wants the foundation and everything on, then just don't do your concealer and leave it for the last. And it's just, you know, you can see there, like it, it makes it just really fresh and pretty. And then the last thing that we're gonna do are the lips. So I'm going to, let me grab a little tissue here clean off my hand. I always use my hand as a palette. Um, and let's see. Yeah. Okay. This side of the hand is always like really well hydrated and has like a lot of SPF on it. <laughs> All the products <laughs> on there. Um, and so, yeah. So the last one is we're going to do the lip liner. It is called S'more. And this one is they are our new, if you have not tried these, the new waterproof gel liner. I like to use them pretty softly and start on the outer edge, build up your lip. And then let's use, and you can build it up. If you have a little, if you have, some people have like, A smaller upper is a little kind of cheat and, and uh, try to gain as much real estate as you can, as I call it, you know? And then if you go from the outer edge, it just naturally gives a lot. more fullness than starting in here. the lip in kind of see there you know just kind of giving it a little bit of color if we wanted to just do a lip gloss on top of that you could do that um another thing that i feel like is really underused is a good lip brush the older we get i would definitely recommend using a lip brush 
I mean, all makeup artists use lip brushes just because what it does is, you know, it's clean. There's no product on there, but I like to just feather the lip line and that way, you know, especially if your lip line is not, you know, if it's a little, get a little bit of a, of lines and whatnot, then it's a great thing. And use a lip liner, especially these waterproof gel liners. They are so nice because you can just really um, line the lip well. They stay on for a long time. They prevent bleeding. And then, um, you know, you'll have your lunch. You can drink. You can do all these good things. Um, and then also, so this is Dora, my mother's namesake. This one's for her. Uh, this is such a pretty color and I, I think it works on. I think every, or we're going to show you, whoops, I think I got a little bit on your tooth. I'm going to have to clean that off. I'm going to hide it. <laughs> I will clean that up. Let's get that. Oh, the Q-tip. Yeah. That's, that's never cute, you know, smiling and you've got like lipstick on your teeth there. Um, you're going to let this, it's, it's, it's more like a, kind of like a liquid lip. Mm. Um, where you put it on and then it's matte on her. It's just this gorgeous. Uh, it really kind of pops on you. Huh? Wow. So interesting. I, I'm so fair. Yes. <laughs> she, yeah, she's quite fair where if I put it on, I love this color, especially if you're on camera a lot, I feel like, mm -hmm. you know, cause I love nudie colors, but it just kind of drains me. So I'm trying to think, what do I have on today? Can I remember? I don't remember. I'm trying to look. <laughs> what can I, I guess? I can't. I, I I don't remember what I put on. Wow. It's not innocent. Mm -mm. No, it's not. I put s'more and I think I just did Gemma. The the s'more and the Gemma, oh, I think is yeah. what I used. Gemma's yes. Um, and this is, so it's, Gemma, and you guys can get, actually, these are our sets that we have um, for sale. So like all three that we ran our promotion on, on Amazon. Um, this color, they're very similar. Of course, one, you're going to get that beautiful gloss. I really like that. So it just kind of gives like a little pop there. Or if you want to use that nudie lip also, then you could get a much softer, bolder eye. But I actually kind of feel like, you know, you need a little bit of, a little bit of color. And especially with You know, that neutral kind of gives a nice contrast, too. And so voila, this is the classic, the new classic look. Um, and so you kind of have a bit of a little fun with some intense shimmers in there. And then you have your mattes as well. And then you can also... Uh, put any lip color really that you want. That's the fun thing I think about, you know, classic colors mm -hmm. is you can funk it up a little bit. You can take it and tone it down, have totally nudie kind of look. Let me see here if we've got any. I So I hope that this has been informative. This has been fun to have you on the call as well with us and learning. I'm sure I can't wait to see the the look
they're going to post, definitely post social. I want to see you can, yeah, they can what hashtag. Yeah. Hashtag car cosmetics. Car cos yeah. Yeah, I or at that. Car Cosmetics, yeah. and then that way you can tag to see the looks that you that you did, and it is a fun look. So if you haven't purchased it yet, definitely go to carcosmetics.com. You can buy it. You can watch the tutorial again, or if you want to, you can actually come into the studio, work with us. We can teach you. You can come in. You can buy it, or there's lots of car salons and and carpreneurs as we call them and our graduates from the car makeup academy so i'm sure they can teach you as well so it doesn't matter where you live if you're watching this check us out at caracosmetics.com get your new classic look i will be posting the video separately of the little travels to spain because i think that part of that was uh, was uh, maybe muted a tiny bit so here you go there's your new look and have fun. Hasta luego. <laughs> and we look forward to seeing you. Great. Thank you so much. We love you guys. And uh, thank you so much for being such loyal, fabulous clients. And if you always want to be a model for us, if you want want to be a model for us please with us now we actually started off you know as a client as a model we worked on a commercial together and so we do use real people for our tutorials she just happens to be very handy and very pretty so i love working on her <laughs> so we I'm have also very white so it shows the true color <laughs> that's right there we go you can see it in real life perfect so have a wonderful, wonderful day. Enjoy, practice, practice, and show us your beautiful looks that you can create with the new Cara Classic Palette.